Uh, the curries apparently dropped 30 mil for their humble abode. Curry, of course, is involved in other charity work. He does give a lot. I mean, not as much in terms of his uh, salary. The ratio is Sadio Mane. So why not spread the love a little closer to home, Steph? Literally, the party panel is back. Jim Thaler, Kevin Walling, and Larry Sharp. Bang! <laughs> Jim's feeling the wind in the studio, and I think it feels good. It does. It's hot. What a hypocrite. Well, listen, first and foremost, it's nice to see Steph Curry finally playing defense. Anyone who's... <laughs> 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 Wait, was this shot blocking? Is that a, out on the that's court. a sports reference? Good night, everybody. Okay. But of course, it's the same hypocrisy we get when it comes to human rights abuses around the world. Everybody likes to howl about oppression in this country, which peaked 200 years ago, while throwing a no-look press at real-time oppression in China. No one undermines our faith in any of these social justice initiatives more than the people pushing them. And that's all this is. He paid what I think the price is like $8.5 million an acre. Mm -hmm. And to your point, it's because he didn't want to be around regular people. Of course. But that's the scam over and over and over again. We're not the classist D-bags that we're being portrayed to be. <laughs> you know whose party is? <laughs> hey, now. I got a little hey itch. Now. I'm sorry. I got a little hey itch. That's hey weird. Hey I, wasn't even, I wasn't talking. I just Whoa. had an itch. Poor Larry. I just had an itch. You're talking I was, libertarians I was now? Just, no, yeah, I just had an itch. Shots that flew fired. right by me. <laughs> so, yeah, all the, all the rich, rich, fancy pants who want to tell us how to live. Of course uh, they they're do. They're always like, but not me. I don't live by those rules, John <laughs> Terry, <laughs> Prince Harry. <laughs> It's a tale as old as time. Nobody wants, you know, affordable housing in their community when it comes up for it. And we have a huge housing crisis in this country. It's not just California. There's a huge crisis with Ron DeSantis in Florida. There's a huge crisis here in the New York metropolitan region, Washington, D.C., where I'm from. And we need more affordable housing for those folks that are just scraping I, by. I have four as you hobos said, you're living in, your... in my apartment. What's that? I have four hobos living in my apartment. <laughs> well, Bring true. them to the show. Oh, they're here. They're, they're working. There's Marco <laughs> on the jib. Austin, their Austin's stage the manager. Yeah. No, they're they're the nicest looking hobos I've they're seen in a long band. time. No, they, they clean up all right. A lot of people do. Yeah. Uh, you take the time to care about other humans, Kevin. I care about everybody. The teachers' unions especially. Ew. Uh, Ew. That's a joke. Um, but listen, you know, he has every right to be out there protesting about what's going to happen in his city, but he can't protesting? say it like, from a... Oh, the world in or writing a letter, or writing a letter oh, as he did that was probably written on people his behalf. make everything yeah. horrible yeah. for the great unwashed. But he can't lecture anyone about what's no, going on in his community. Larry, either. what is what is Larry's libertarian solution to the, Steph Curry and his The democracy? answer is the same thing. you got to follow a non-governmental answer, right? You shouldn't have to go to the government for this, right? The, the, the football player gets it, right? You set up a situation to where people can come in and they can actually own. You want to have an ownership mentality. I don't want more of a let's have low rental forever. I want poor communities to have an ownership mindset. I want them to own their homes. I want to take, I want to take every, single, every single government housing project mm -hmm. and make it a rent-to-own project, every one of them, so that slowly you begin to rent-to-own. People get upset. Well, Larry, what if they're on public assistance? So all of a sudden now we're going to pay for them to own their home? Or you can pay their rent forever. Mm. So you can pay now for there them to move There are more buildings forward. like that in New York. It's That's actually, correct. It's, it's an attractive incentive yes. for especially younger renters who, you know, there's no way in hell a lot of people in the younger generations getting into the workforce right now are going to save correct. enough money for a down payment on the ridiculous homes. But if they do have whatever they've paid in rent applied to the value of the home, so that eventually after a couple of years When wealthy a people leave their home, they get a check. When people who aren't wealthy leave their home, they maybe get a half of their security if they're lucky. But more importantly, we have to incentivize private companies to do so. Government shouldn't be building this. That's why it's a disaster. I mean, the, you look at the, uh, you know, right NYCHA here in New York City. It's, it's an embarrassment. Mm -hmm. Instead, what we should do is when these talking big companies... talking about the New York City Housing Authority. Oh, well, we I'm sorry, New we York Google City Housing Google. Authority. Sorry, yes, <laughs> correct, NYCHA, correct. So when, when these people, these big businesses buy these big properties and sell them, they pay mass amounts of tax. Yes. I have an idea. Give them a tax break at the end. You give them a tax break at the end if they do rent to own. You will now incentivize big business to do rent to own. You'll say, but Larry, they're not paying taxes. I don't care. They're giving people homes. Yes. Don't pay your taxes. Instead, give and people also, homes. And also, if you want to stay where you're living, maybe you'll make something happen. That's not and, the worst thing in the world. And it also ends gentrification. Gentrification's only bad if you don't own. Yeah, but gentrification if you own, you is love it. great and always follow the gays. There Amen. we go. You know? Oh, you know it. Gays always find the Except best. Except Jennifer Coolidge. Because they're gonna they're gonna kill her.
Jennifer Coolidge, the <gasps> White Lotus. Oh God! The gays are going to kill me. No. No. That's a thing. Uh, Is that giving it away? It's a thing. Okay. Yeah. In the clubs. Lincoln just, will know. Lincoln will know soon enough. I just heard always follow the gays and made a note to delete my search history. <laughs> That's all I got out of this whole thing. <laughs>